it's that guy again. This is a beautiful thing. Lots of videos just like this. That's senior recruiting analyst Michael Langston. That means Florida State's got a guy, and it's a big guy. This is this is this is good. Welcome in everybody. Warchant TV, Warchant.com. I'm Jeff Cameron. He is Michael Langston. Let's get to some recruiting. Let's get to the good news. I, I think the last time we talked, I asked you about this guy. I asked you about a certain offensive lineman. You know where my heart lives, Michael. <laughs> offensive line, defensive line. This guy, D.D. Holmes from the D.C. area, is huge. And let's be honest, it's a good get for Papuchas. He kind of needed this one. I think they yeah. – I mean, look, first of all, Florida State didn't have a defensive end in the 2024 class, so it's important to get one. And I also think it's a position that people are watching very closely because there have been a couple of high-profile misses, close calls, I guess is a better way of saying it. So talk to me about D.D. Holmes. He's a monster, and this is a great get for Florida State. Yeah, this one was one of the one I'm most excited about. Uh, there's a lot of guys that I feel like they're going to add, but this was the one that I felt like, man, position-wise, this might be one of the most important guys because you need a speed at rushing edge. This guy fits everything with that. He really gets after the quarterback. A lot of length, a lot of, uh, lot of speed uh, as far as in his game. You know, a lot of violent rush, pass rushes. So he's going to bring a lot to kind of, uh, you know, what, you know, just getting after the quarterback. Kind of similar to the body frame I saw out of Patrick Payton coming into FSU. Still frame, you see a great frame that you can add to. I think people can see the pictures and stuff of uh, his official visit. He visited on June 23rd weekend, then uh, late with his mom again. Uh, this is a second visit. Early in the spring, I would say around March, he did. He took a multiple day official, unofficial visit with his mom. So I think it's a big get because uh, not just for Coach JP, but just the staff in general. They needed something, you know, because they don't. They didn't have many defensive uh, commit recruits. I mean, that was the pro. That's the thing. Like, what's going on? That's what People I'd hear. Panicking, like, Michael. Yeah. People are panicking. What's, yeah. What's going on with our defensive recruiting? We're not getting anybody. Yeah. Um, now I, I did feel good coming out of that weekend, but I didn't know it would be this quickly with Didi. Uh, so this is a big boost to kind of unexpected to me as far as uh, the timing, but I knew it was going to be in July. I just didn't know it was going to be early, but to get him, man, uh, this is a perfect way to start July for FSU to get the fireworks going, just to really set the tone uh, uh, to get a really premier you know, four-star defensive end just does a little bit of everything. Like I said, uses his hands well, gets after it length, uh, he, leverage. He understands all that stuff. Technique-wise, like at any other defensive end, there's things you could really work on. But I think, too, this as a freshman, this is a guy that can help you as a pass rusher. Sure, there's going to be things where you can't put him out there all the time. But as a pass rusher, I think there's certain spots where he can flash and go in there and help FSU early on. But, man, this is massive for for a team that really needed a, a top-tier uh, defensive commit, and they got it in DD. Well, I feel like, you know, Michael, you and I have talked off the air, and certainly you've hinted at it. Anybody on the boards reading your breakdown after these visits over the weekend, you guys know, you know, you get a sense of what's happening with a kid's recruitment, and you're very thorough in your write-ups after that. I always appreciate yeah. reading those. I would invite others to do the same. But, you know, you got a sense. I, I could tell that you guys, you know, you, you felt like, you know, that this was going to be something that happened for Florida State, that, that this was the beginning of something. And, and so that I'll just say this, guys, you're going to see me and Michael some more. And, I, and you're going to see Michael some more for sure. Um, th this is the beginning of something in the month of July, we think. Yeah, I feel it is. I think it's going to be big. I hope I understand from a fan perspective. I get it. People get pissed off and they're like, I want commits now. Like I understand like they, they see Florida getting all these commits. They see Miami getting some guys. So I understand the, the antsiness of people that wanting guys. Well, guys, your, your wait's going to be over this month. I think you're going to be very excited. I think there's going to be a lot of good additions to FSU's class. I think by the time this shakes out, if they get everything, I think they're going to get, you're talking about being inside the top six, seven uh, in the country. So and I think ultimately, Jeff, that's kind of really the goal because everyone's like, oh, I want to be top five. It's like, yeah, but with what FSU does from the portal when you combine the two, you don't need that. Like you just need being in that top 10 range or top 12 range. And I think as long as you're in that range for me, uh, they're killing it. Uh, well, and I remember, think Michael, I'm sorry. I, I just yeah. and remember, you know, this 
They've had one winning season with this staff. I mean, one. It, it, it happened last year. We're all excited. Everybody knows what this upcoming season is going to be. So if you build upon it and you start having back-to-back-to-back, you know, 10, 11 win seasons, recruiting gets a little bit easier, does it not? <laughs> it does. And the thing is, I, I think people need to get the thing out of their head that this isn't the 1900s or the or early 2000s where it's just high school recruiting. Portal stuff is real. A combination of it is real. And at the end of the day, I told you this before, you got to have the best player. It's about the best player. It's not if there's a high school kid that's better, you take that kid. If it's a portal kid that's better, you take that. Look at some of their transfers they already got. Trey Benson, transfer. Jared Burst, transfer. Even Jordan Travis, who, who's a quarterback from Louisville, he's a transfer. Some of their best players are transfers, yeah. but you're going to have a mix, but you want the mixture. You want these young kids like ID home to really, you can develop at your own pace, but yeah, they're hot. It's coming guys. So get ready. This isn't a Deion Sanders. I'm coming. This is like FSU really coming. I'm excited about the fact that DD Holmes was impressed by Patrick Payton's development. And yeah. you alluded to that. So now you have a core kid that you brought up and you've helped build and we've seen his emerge that speaks to development, Michael. So now kids in that high school ranks can think, yeah, you know, listen, they have had a lot of portal success, but look, a guy like Patrick Payton is proof they can develop a player as well. And Didi Holmes saw that and he was a unique recruit because that guy wasn't just going to go to Florida state to go to Florida state. He is really, really cerebral. He was looking at Rutgers. He's looking at South Carolina, looking at a lot of different places. This wasn't just about the name. This is, he was thorough. He and his family were thorough. Yeah. And they had to do some work. I mean, he, when he first came over there in the spring, they were probably like third, you know, maybe fourth. And then, Really, they set the tone there and then really knocked it out of the park on the official visit. But, yeah, they had to do some work hosted by Jared Verse, which is pretty smart. Hosted well, by one of, the, one of the best defensive ends in the country. They did a really good job hosting him and just uh, making him see what the program is. Uh, and I think that's a lot of the – there's a lot of kids that visit that don't know what the program is until they get in there and they're like, man, this place is freaking different, dude. It's like the culture is different. A lot of kids, a lot of people say, like, oh, our kids are, there's a family and stuff. And, like, you really feel it when it's at FSU. It's a different mm -hmm. level of, of culture. So kids get in there. They see the want to of, of all these kids inside this thing when the way they practice, the way they play, and just, you know, what they're doing in the program. And it has a really pe impactful uh, meaning to these recruits when they're in there. They're, like, they see it. And so it's just, like, that's why you hear some of these guys that I've mentioned for these official visits, like FSU leads, FSU lead, FSU's number one, FSU's trending. You know, I think uh, they've done a great job of of showing off their product, and now they know they have to continue that because that's a process. You can't just have one 10-win season and it's just fall flat on your face. Like, they understand that they have to keep delivering, and, and I think they will. Yeah, it may be, and it may end up being uh, one of their greatest attributes or strengths is that they have created this culture now that feeds upon itself, and kids come in and they see it, like you're describing, and they want to be part of that. It's infectious, and so now you see more and more kids coming in and leaving, going, "Hey, really like what's being built there, really like the direction they're going," and that's the importance of this upcoming season. You got to keep winning. We know that it is about wins, but it's yep. also that culture when all things are equal. Once you get to that place, so hey, listen, guys, you're going to want to keep it right here. Like and subscribe to Warchant TV and Warchant.com. He's senior recruiting analyst Michael Langston. He's going to be a very busy man in the month of July, which is good news for all of us Knowles, yeah. right? Make sure Absolutely. you like and subscribe. Thanks to Ben who produced the video as always for uh, Michael Langston. I'm Jeff Cameron. Be well, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Go Knowles.